What's up, y'all? I'm Hassan Johnson. My alter ego superhero was Clock. I used to be a Thundercat lover. So, like, I'd be Panthro. His <laughs> Panthro was like this tech geek engineer dude, right? But he was like the designated everything. He's the OG. You understand? He made sure everyone was all right. He kept everything in order. As a superhero, I mean, because that's what heroes are without the superpowers. So, yeah, Panthro had like that spike chest belt thing. I think it would be a little more cooler, like, like a body suit. And so, yeah, it would definitely be more on that, like a sleek, stealthy, kind of, you know, I'm Von God type of style or look. Yeah, <laughs> like a little, little shaft-ish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my headquarters would be in Park Hill, Staten Island, where I'm from. I just yeah, set up right there, 55 Bowen Street. <laughs> Some people will figure that out, know what that means. Right in the middle of the hood. <laughs> Well, if he, yeah, any power, well, superhuman strength always is a plus. The Panthro wasn't no punk. He was kind of brolic. So it would be like a superhuman strength power. Then some, some sort of Jedi-ish mind telepathy thing for sure. I'm into that. I always got a kick out of that from Star Wars. And then on the third one, maybe something to the effect of like, Admantium with like Wolverine had the self healing powers. Cause I kind of like pain. Like pain's not real to me. I mean, it's real. You feel shit. It hurts. But I don't really give much to it. So it would be like, yeah, I'd have like a soup, like a self healing power type of entity thing or something going on. He, he definitely has the alter ego. Yeah, he, he's the, he's the like, like I said, the, like the jovial, you know, kind of upbeat spirited guy but then there's this anti-social thing about him as well i think just all evils and you know anomalies of the world anything that's just disrupting the fiber and fabric of the way things are supposed to just unravel and go in the universe i think i'd have a beef with i don't know what a good kryptonite would be yeah right <laughs> that poon cash <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> that sound about right. <laughs> that sound about right. Yeah, definitely got a whip. A big Tonka truck with the knobby tires, full with the James Bond explosives and the, you know, the, 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 the smoke screen and the oil slick Spy Hunter back in the Spy Hunter arcade day. For sure. <laughs> yeah. But they called me Clock in the Hood because that was my first film, Clockers. Yeah, let's go with Clock, C L O C K. Right. Yeah, they got a really bugger. Like, wait a minute, isn't that his like rap stage name? I remember when he was with Capadonna.